Hello friends, family and fans. I'm doing this video to clear the air and also to save a lot of women. I'm a victim. It could happen to anyone. It's not easy telling a story in a society where a lot of people will only criticize you and say all kinds of things. You actually don't know what's coming. Trust me, I swear to God, you don't know what's coming. Everything that I said to you, I think you consider it to be a joke. But trust me, it's not a joke. I know your day-to-day -day activities. I know everything you do on a daily basis. You're facing Akira, you're facing Days, you're facing Dad, everything. I know absolutely everything. Thank you. She had a guy who was blackmailing her that I, I never knew about. So she was like kind of draining. All the time I used to ask her what's going on, what's happening, she would definitely gonna explain to me until I was able to go through all her social media she had, like her WhatsApp or whatsoever that she had. I had to go through it, get into messages, and then I got to know that this guy had a sex video for her. Not just one, not just two. So all along, the money she been taking from her for business, the money she been asking all of the people for, she been giving it to this guy. They know. So after I traced the guy, I was able to get to him and then met him like a man, crush his, crush his, crush his phone, crush everywhere and kept that video and then I was able to get it for him, did what I needed to do, and then I left. So when I went back home, this is my fiance, and this is somebody I'm supposed to be getting, somebody I'm supposed to be getting married to, February. So got to home asking her, and then demanded the truth, what she still wanted to deny, without showing her the video. But I was talking about it because I never wanted her to know anything about it, about, about me having it. So she still denied that she, no, baby, this is, this, this. so I got angry, and then I slapped her. So when I went to the other room, she used that opportunity to run from the house. When she... Hello. So I tried. Hello, I didn't get you. She used the opportunity to run into the room. Then what happened? Hello. Go ahead. I, no, I went to the other room. So she used the opportunity to run from the house. She left the estate and went to her brother overnight. So other people are going to be asking questions about why you take her passport. Okay. So I took it because she owed me $450,000 and then she wanted to run away. She wanted to run to the U.S. But this time, if I never had this passport, we would have been talking different story. But this time, Empress would have been in America. But I'm gonna report this visa and the passport to this American State Department, and then to the American Embassy here. And then the war between this family, this German family and myself just started. They just started. They're going to know the real reason behind everything I did. 